Hey, what's up guys? This is my review of the Primary Arms One Power Cyclops. They had me at Cyclops. Let's give it a look. All right, now before we get started, I've looked at a lot of reviews online of these type of scopes. A few of the things that you always see in common, the guys are always in camouflage. They have tactical gear on with all kinds of extra magazines. It's strapped to an M16 with a suppressor. They're crawling through the mud. They're climbing over barbed wire, boom, boom, boom. And they're shooting at a target about 15 yards away. You're not gonna see anything like that in this video. What I thought I would do is actually review the scope. How about that shit? So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show it to you up close, all the features of it, which it has one super badass feature. Right here on the back end, it has a diopter setting. For guys like me that are a little visually challenged, that's perfect, because a lot of the red dots, you look through them, and if they're not focused to your eye, tough shit. There's nothing you can do about it. With this one right here, you can adjust it to your eye, which is great. Okay, now let's look at this thing up close, and as soon as we do, I'm gonna show you the new range that I've joined. I got some really good footage through this scope. I think you'll be blown away with just how crystal clear it was. I know it messed me up and everybody that was out there commented about it that wanted to look through this thing. All right, no more screwing around. Let's look at it up close. Then we'll head to the range. All right, now since I don't do unboxing videos, that shit just ain't on my agenda of things to do during my life. Here's a look at the outside of the box and here's a look at the shit that comes in the box. There's everything together right there in one quick look. There's a primary arms owner's manual. It's got a lot of neat information inside there. There's a little Torx wrench to help tighten the thing down. There's some Loctite, which I thought was kind of a neat addition to throw in there. And there it is, the main event of this freaking video, the Cyclops primary arms one power. There's a look at it with the little plastic caps flipped up, which by the way, these caps are damn nice. They're not that little bullshit plastic that feels like a cheap Coke bottle. These things are rubber. There's a look at it from the top, from both sides. We're going to look at the mount on the bottom, which by the way, you can get a quick detach mount and replace this mount that's on it. Me personally, I think I'd probably get me a quick detach and put on this thing. Like I say, another quick look at it. And here it is. The main thing about this scope that makes it so freaking cool to me, the diopter. When you're like me and your eyesight is not as good as you wish it was, you can take this diopter and get it crystal freaking clear, which is great. The scope caps have a little tethered wire that holds them together. So if they do come loose, you don't have to worry about losing them. I guess that's pretty cool. And they just unscrew, just like any other scope cap. Inside, the turrets move one half MOA per click, which is about twice as much as most scopes do. Now I moved it to 50 yards, checked it out, and it actually tracked Pretty freaking good, especially for a close range combat type weapon, which is not what I'm going to use the damn thing for. I'm through fighting zombies. On the side of the illumination, it goes from 0 to 11, 11 being the brightest, and that's what we're going to look at when we look down range. It was really bright that day, so basically black and the brightest red is all you'll be able to see. Alright, no more bullshitting around. Let's see what this thing looks like at the range. Now you can see just how bright it actually is here today. I've got it mounted in my fixture down there, and we're going to be looking at this thing at 100 yards. Those are the 100 yard bells. There's the 50 yard backstop. And here comes the 25. That's where we're going to start. All right, now to my personal eye and my personal opinion, this is about the closest you're going to get to what it actually looks like to look at it through your naked eye. That's true one power, and that's what the scope looks like when you're looking through it. There it is with the crosshair turned black. There it is with illumination turned on. And you can see just how clear it really is. There's a small vibration in the camera right here because the wind was blowing so freaking hard that day. But even though the vibration is in the camera, you can still see how good the glass is on this thing and what it looks like when you illuminate it. Now right here at 50 yards, you can see the four hash marks off to the right those are what supposedly you can range with if a man is standing down range between 100 to 300 yards. Me personally, that's a feature I'll probably never use. For one thing, I'm not going to go into combat and I'm not going to use this scope when the zombie uprising happens. Look at the 55 gallon drum on the left hand side through the scope and that'll give you some idea of about what you can see magnification wise like i say this thing is a true one power magnification so it's not going to increase the size of the image 
what you're looking at right there is about what it looks like. At 100 yards, I feel confident I could hit something the size of a Coke can, a beer bottle, something like that. I could hit an oil can every damn shot. Could I hit a nail or a thumbtack? Hell no, you can't even see it. You might could find out where to aim close to it, but you're not going to be able to aim that kind of precise. All right, guys, there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. I want to give a big shout out to Primary Arms. They actually donated this scope to my channel so I could do this review, but something I did want to touch on. When guys look at this kind of scope, they too quickly go to combat mode. Okay, cool. I get it. I've had AR-15s, AKs. They're a blast. But there's other stuff you can do with a scope like this that's a lot more appealing to me. You can hog hunt, deer hunt, bear hunt, wombat hunt, if that's your thing. They also work great on shotguns in the areas where you hunt with slugs, and they're equally at home on a crossbow, which is where this damn thing's going to go. I just can't imagine a better crossbow scope because, seriously, when you think about it with a crossbow, you're not shooting 90 freaking yards. You're shooting anywhere between 15 to 40 yards. Using this Chevron, I'll be able to dope for that, and I'll have a hell of a lot larger field of view than I would with some of my other scopes. Guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Stay tuned. I got more shit coming.